the big stress is that I have to work 50, 60 hours a week to make to make the money. And then she wants me home helping with the kid. So let's say he was he's been gone since four in the morning. Then they tell him, hey, can you do a run till midnight or can you do a run till three in the morning? And he's like, yeah, sure. But it's the only income in the house. Correct. <laughs> Jeez. Poor guy. Joseph, it's welcome to the coffee pot. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Stay at home mom. You guys are going to want to see this. Wants husband to work less while she doesn't work. And somehow still wants the bills to be paid and somehow is complaining. She's a stay at home mom but is complaining. No more in time. Let's get it. Me being the sole provider for two and a half years is the, is I was, I thought that she'd be going back to work a year and a half ago and we'd have a lot more money. Is there any stress or strain on the fact in the relationship on the fact that it's been pushed longer than was anticipated? I would say yes. I would say yes. How so? So I carry a lot of stress and, 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 and so those are some stresses. So the big stress is that I have to work 50, 60 hours a week to make, to make the money. And then she wants me home helping with the kit. And those are mutually exclusive. If I work a 15 hour a day, there's only so much, you know, so that 60 hours and you want him home helping out with the kid. <sighs> That's the stress is that give and take of, of her needing help, which is, fair and reasonable and me being like well i i have to work what do you think about that sophia um i see where he's coming from but at the same time <laughs> it's one of those things like i can't get the best of both worlds <laughs> no you can't so i feel that i want him home but also i personally don't think he needs to work as much but uh he wants you think he doesn't need to work as much no. But you said he's living paycheck to paycheck. That Correct. you guys so, so what what would he do different in terms of hours? Um he okay, I should rephrase, I guess. <laughs> um he should work um his hours should look a little bit different in the sense that he's not gone for 18 hours a day. Does he have that choice in that position? Yes. Do you have that choice in that position? Schedule. I see, yes and so why no. then? Why are you doing it? Okay, so in the business um, if they call you and you say, Oh, hey, I can't do that run, they'll just give it to somebody else, and then you might not work the next day. That's just how the business works. Okay, so it doesn't fully have the choice then in that context. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He has to pick up those runs because obviously it affects him um, with future runs and then will inevitably affect the income that's coming into the home. Let's keep listening. Um, he doesn't have the fully of the choice, but if he takes runs constantly without um, weighing the cost, so let's say he was he's been gone since four in the morning. Then they tell him, "Hey, can you do a run till midnight, or can you do a run till three in the morning?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." But it's the only income in the house. Correct. <laughs> Jeez, poor guy, poor guy. There's nothing worse than 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 a woman who's completely ungrateful when she really should be very appreciative. Of what she has check out this top comment that says she doesn't understand how truly blessed she is to have a man like this such strange times we live in where you have on one hand women who are working and wishing that their husbands made more money women who are working don't have a husband and don't see a reason for getting with the man unless if they became a stay-at-home mom then you have women who are married to a man who doesn't work at all. And then you have a woman who's being taken care of and doesn't have to work while the man's trying to figure out the financial part and she's taking care of the home. All four of those women are unhappy, which leads me to think a lot of this is just a mindset shift and is being more grateful. It reminds me of another video of a woman who's complaining about the same thing pretty much. Right? Do you guys remember this video? Let's check it out. You know what makes me crazy? I'm so excited to have my husband home on the weekends. But then after breakfast, he goes outside, mows, and does lawn work for like hours. And so I'm just still inside doing what I'm always doing, alone, watching these kids. It's like I get that he has to maintain the lawn 
and I'm glad he does it, but it still irks me. Like, come inside. Come hang out with us. Change a diaper. You guys get this? All right, so there she is complaining online. Do you guys get this? My husband is out there taking care of the lawn when he could be in here helping me change a diaper. He's gone working all the other days. Come in here with us. And of course, the people responded back to this. Let's check out the first comment that says, mow the effing lawn then. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, good video. Um, if you guys want to go check out that video, it is called Ungrateful Wife Shames Husband Publicly About Not Spending Enough Time and Assisting. Let's check out some comments from the video that we just saw about the woman who's not grateful for being able to be a stay-at-home mom. Here's somebody else who had something to say about that. They said he's working two times so she doesn't have to and complains about him working. Mm -hmm. Here's another woman who says this man is clearly overworked, shaking my head. She needs a job at least part-time. Another person here says he's trying hard, man. Somebody else here added she needs to get a job or cut their costs of living down to where he doesn't have to work as much. We got somebody else here who says she sees what he's saying, but doesn't care a single bit. Somebody else here added being a stay at home mom is draining and hard. A man works 50 to 60 hours a week too. I also miss him, but I cannot complain. We live comfortably and he wants me to be home raising his kids. Here's another comment that says she ain't being fair. Somebody else here added she's ungrateful. Find someone else that will appreciate and help you. She could get a job. Here's another comment that says, I cannot wait for the day I'm a stay-at-home dad. Imagine having nothing to do but cook and clean while playing and watching your kids sleep. Somebody else here added, sorry, sometimes they don't sleep, but if her kids are in school, she could get a part-time job, which the guy responded back and says, imagine not being able to sleep and still having to wake up at 4.30 a.m and still drop them off and go to work. I understand the part-time job, but I'd love to have that option. Here's another man who says, looking after your child is a breeze. Housework only takes a couple of hours. I would much rather be a stay-at-home parent than go to work. It is a breeze. Somebody else here adds, she can at least do a part-time. Here's another comment that says, if she wants him home, they both can switch to nine to five and get off and enjoy time with their family. Here's another person who responded back to that guy and said, uh, sounds like he's a truck driver by the mention of runs in quotation marks work. Can't switch from that to nine to five, make the same income right off. Here's another man who says, so she has one thing to do, but needs help, but he is the only one that works. I'll say this, I don't, I'm not somebody who sits here and says that raising up children is easy because I don't know how many kids they do have. If they have a lot of kids, it could get very, very hectic. If it's just one kid, then it's like, what are you complaining about? But if they have a bunch of kids, it could get crazy trying to raise up a bunch of kids. But what ends up happening, and I've said this many times before, is that when a woman is a stay at home mom, it doesn't happen all the time. But what you risk is she starts thinking that she's actually working harder than you. They may start forgetting how it's like to actually work and to produce income. They just see you when you're hanging out at home and you're not picking after yourself and you're in rest and recovery mode instead of housework and assistant mode, right? As always, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.